probably shouldn't have had coffee before filming this, but here we go. Hello, hi, my name is Mad. Welcome to Mad Music. Today, I am finally reacting to Fandom by Waterparks. And if you can't tell, I'm just a little bit excited about it. I haven't been waiting for this album since Entertainment was released or anything. Like, <laughs> I haven't been waiting that long. I am filming this at my grandma's house because why not? Um, so the lighting is a little weird. Maybe it's better. I don't know. Maybe it is better. I can't tell. Maybe I'll always film it at my grandma's house. It smells like banana bread in here, which is the most stereotypical thing ever, but it literally smells like banana bread in here. I was kind of impatient and I've already opened up the CD and everything. The CD is literally an orange slice because Austin, I don't know, I have no other explanation for it, but I've already downloaded the CD slice into my laptop because I'm old school and I love CDs. Buy CDs. CDs are great. I swear to you, they're fantastic. The Target Deluxe comes with two foil stickers. Look how shiny those are, my gosh. The booklet literally has lyrics. It's filled with lyrics galore and I am so happy. There's also a bunch of thanks. So if you wanna read the thanks, pause the video here so you can read them. Otto's thanks are literally just you. And we have Austin anti-thanks here, if you wanna read those. On the inside of the CD, we have here, it says, I never promised you your dream boy. So, that's not concerning. I'm really happy that this CD is the cardboard cover. I was worried that it was gonna be the plastic cover and then it wouldn't match the rest of the CDs that I have because all of these are cardboard, but I'm so happy that this one matches. It's so aesthetically pleasing to me. My OCD is happy, so thank you for making it the cardboard. The only thing that would make me happier is that some, some way, somehow they would release black light and airplane conversations. Just to finish the collection, there's literally no way that they could do that, but if they did, uh, that's it, that's it. I'm done for. <laughs> Without further ado, I am going to get started. Here's the first song, it's called Cherry Red. I am so excited. I definitely feel like this is supposed to be more of an album opener than like a standalone song, if that makes sense. Um, I don't mind it as an album opener, it's not grabbing me, just the song itself. This part definitely has that classic water parks feel, or not even classic maybe, but that whole like instrumental part, the like twinkly little, I don't know what you would consider it, but that reminds me of 1111, that intro riff thing. So that's a cool little like callback to entertainment. All right, song number two, I have heard way, way too many times. This is Watch What Happens Next. I love this song so much. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. <laughs> uh. mm -mm. I'm just gonna turn this a little bit louder. <laughs> Ah, oh, that guitar riff is just the best. He cusses so much, I just realized. <laughs> he talks so fast. How do you do it? I don't understand. All your pop is, you wanna hear my art, but only on your tongues. So then, what? It makes me so happy. It's... Ahaha! <laughs> Have I told you how much I've been wanting this in my life? And now it's here. And it's too much. You can't deserve as much as all your puppies. So, so, so good. <laughs> all right, song number three is called Dream Boy. This song is like Youngblood by Five Seconds of Summer and like Sucker by the Jonas Brothers. I don't want to know how many times I've listened to Dream Boy. I really don't want to know. It's it's a lot. It's too much. It's way too many times, but what's one more? What's adding one more? What is that really going to do? So, you know, number three, we're going to listen to it again. Dream Boy. Hmm, I'm not ready. <laughs> I swear to goodness, I literally screamed when I bought this album at Target and saw this ad playing. I literally screamed, like, mmm. <laughs> also, I did a cover of this song. 
if you want to watch it, uh, you know, click this thing right here. I'm a professional YouTuber. <laughs> Who needs the lyric booklet for this song? I don't. I don't. Make me complicated, I'm modern and I'm dated because I was going to be your favorite. Well, time to just skip this whole reaction video and just repeat this song 5,000 more times. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Alright, song number four is called Easy to Hate. I don't know what I'm doing, but this song just makes me do this. Why, Austin? He loves colors. Ooh, this is good. I like this. This sounds like classic water parks. Not that they should have a sound or shouldn't like branch away or anything. I don't think like that at all. I don't know. They have like this electronic punk pop thing going on and this like fits that in my opinion. Oh, that's cool. That was cool. Give me more of that. That was cool. I liked that a lot. All right, the next song is called High Definition. I actually really like this song a lot. It's sad. But it's good. I need to feel needed and I need it more than I let on. I'll be home just thinking about it. Maybe call like I used to. I'll just stay alone because alone is safer than with you. It's so like soothing in a bad way. <laughs> Cause it's not a happy song, but it's very soothing. <laughs> it's like very cute. But the lyrics are not cute at all. But the song itself sounds cute. You know what I mean? It's like go drive in the rain type song. You know? Go home, light a few candles. Dance around your living room all by yourself. That type of song, you know what I mean? I don't know what my hands are doing. This is just what the song wants me to do, so I'm following it. <laughs> all right, number six is called Telephone. Well, you start right away, don't you? Constantine. It's called Infatuation, Austin. Okay, it's not love, it's a fatuate, infatuate, I can't. Infatuation, that's the word I'm trying to say. That's cute. This is like stupid for you 2.0. Ooh, the guitar on this album. Jeff, you are great. I'm and Austin, he does guitar too, but like, Jeff and Austin, <sighs> good job on those drums, dude. Drums, guitar, god, I can't tell. Losing his mind. And I'm reaping all the benefits. What? <laughs> what is that? I wanna know. <laughs> Alright, song number seven is called Group Chat. It's only 19 seconds long. The lyrics are just, my name's Otto, my name's Jeff, my name's Austin. Alright, let's see what these 19 seconds have in store. My name's Otto, and my name's Jeff, and my name's Austin, and we're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> wait, huh? Whoa, wait, okay. Mm -hmm. 
So one, group chat is funny, very funny. Also, it ends with like the beginning riff of turbulence, so that turbulent literally just starts with the word. Does that make sense? That, what, hmm? Huh? That's not what I'm used to. Switching it up on me, okay. So in that case, here is Turbulent, song number eight. These beginning lyrics, it's literally my favorite thing in the world. You had your own Pete Wentz and Patrick combined, like, water parks. Referencing my favorite band, no, that's not, that's not a big deal at all. You had your own Pete Wentz and Patrick combined. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love you like I should. The months before I did, the months before I split, it's turbulent, turbulent. I don't love you like I could. I don't love you like I should. I like the clean version. Because I can't take anything remotely sexual without laughing from discomfort. <laughs> Song number nine is called Never Bloom Again. I like this guitar. Again, like, this song sounds cute, but it's so not cute lyrics wise. This is so sad. So fly it on a Tuesday no we don't need to wait wait. What am I doing to me? I'm that guitar is like regressive back to all the girls in Los Angeles look like you from a distance. He sounds so defeated. Aww. Okay, Austin is a butt half the time. You know, he says the stupidest things, but like, then he writes these kind of songs and you just want to give him a hug, you know? All right, song number 10. <laughs> Why do I have to say this title? Why do I do reaction videos? I don't know. Song number 10 is called, I miss having sex, but at least I don't want to die anymore. <laughs> Why is that a title? <sighs> I'm uncomfortable. How are you doing? About this. Okay, how dare you make me like this song because I don't want to say like guess what song I like and then have to say this title like F you water parks What are you doing? <laughs> yes scream He totally doesn't think it's fine and he totally doesn't think it's cool. That, like, I love screaming at the end. <laughs> Sarcasm! Yes, water parks. All right, song number 11 is called War Crimes. I like this. Yes, this is nice. Oh, also, this smells really good. <laughs> Don't you dare make the song better. Don't you dare make it. No. <laughs> Bass player, but that was that's cool. <laughs> 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 
I love this. I can't, I can't handle this. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm so angry. That, uh, mm -mm. no, okay. That is like literally everything, everything I could want from a water park song. It's angry, <laughs> it's catchy, he screams in it, his vocals sound so good. The lyrics like are just constant references. Like that is, <sighs> that is everything. <laughs> All right, song number 12 is called Reboot. I remember listening to this one and I don't think I like it that much, but let's try it again. Yeah, no, I didn't like this part. <laughs> That's weird. The lyrics are weird, but like, again, this is what the song's making me do, okay? I have no control over my body right now. I don't, this is what's happening right now. That was weird. <laughs> I like that. I definitely like it the second time hearing it. I did not like it the first time I heard it. Am I the boy you dreamed of? Alright, song number 13 is called Worst. This one is indeed the song that Austin uh, put out a few years ago. I think it was a few years ago. Maybe it wasn't that long, but I was hoping so badly that it was gonna be this one Maybe they mixed it up a little bit. We'll find out but like it's still the same so song that I was anticipating And I'm so excited that it's on here because I loved this song when I heard it. So number 13 worst Oh, The fact that I have this song now makes me happy Oh, yeah, they definitely changed it. I'm used to the other one. That's a little bit more stripped down. Ooh, that was cool. This one definitely fits on the album better, but I'm still partial to the old one. This one's not bad, though. I do like it. Oh yes, he kept that part in, okay. Very cool, very cool. Song number 14 is called Zone Out. It's only like a minute long and it has very short lyrics. So let's see how intense this will be. I have a feeling it's gonna be like all in your face. Hmm? Stop, stop it now, stop. Do you just know that I love this song? This almost, oh my god. This almost like reminds me of like carousel music-ish a little bit and like I love, carousels are like my favorite thing, okay? I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Freaking mix Dream Boy with like carousels and like, why does water parks know exactly what, well they don't know exactly what I like. They're a little too out there sometimes for me. But like, why? So we have one more song for the standard edition of this album. This album has 15 songs on it, which is crazy. <laughs> the Target Deluxe comes with two extra songs. So here is number 15, I Felt Younger When We Met, and this is the album closer of the regular version. Well, all right. Ooh, that's cool. No, you, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. Mm -mm. Mm. 
No. <laughs> This is my favorite part, I think. Actually, no, the chorus is, but I'm talking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they shouldn't be allowed to do that. It should be illegal, okay? Because, no. Oh, the guitar! The little scratchy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> supposed to be like a jump scare thing because if you do like I will hate you I don't know what to think of that oh wait does it does it blend into like the first song oh my god what it does hang on hang on okay so watch that ending and then it's just the first song cherry red that's cool that they did that. Except I can't play it that way unless I just don't download the two extra songs because there's still two extra songs on here because of the Target Deluxe. Here's number 16, Dream Boy, Acoustic in the Bathroom of Austin's Apartment version. I am so excited about this one. <laughs> I love him, he's so strange. Hang on, can I just say like, one, I love the fact that they thought to do this. Like, what band does an acoustic version of their song in an apartment bathroom? Like, what? And also, it, can you, like, imagine them trying to get, like, Target to sell this album and, like, Target does all the Target Deluxe, like, exclusives and, like, Target agreeing to have this be, like, the bonus edition one? Like, that, that's hilarious to me. <laughs> so good. It's in a freaking bathroom and it's good. Why water parks? Why? 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 You're so welcome. You are so welcome. I will get physical versions of CDs for as long as they exist. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Go, go pick up Fandom by Waterparks, the physical edition. Get the physical album at Target. Get this, you know, Waterparks hire me to be your promotion people because like I will do it. <laughs> that was cool. He's so good. It's so good. I love it. Ah, okay. Number 17, the last on the deluxe album is I Felt Younger When We Met, home demo version. So we even get a demo of one of the songs, which I think is pretty cool. I said I love you to death, so I must be dead. It makes me sick, you know my skin. My sins are all built in, you know. Do you see? You're the reason I can't sleep. Lose it where your head should be. In the dark between my sheets. I said I love you to death. I like this version too. What the heck? That's so cool. Just thank you Waterparks for even putting this version on the deluxe. I don't know. I love hearing the same song built in like two completely different ways and that's exactly what this is and it's like so cool. <laughs> They kept building up on it. That's so cool. That's cool. Well, that was my reaction to Fandom by Waterparks. If you have not, go pick it up. Go buy it at Target. Get the deluxe edition. The, the, uh, the, I can't talk because that's what it did to me. Go get the extra songs, the two foil stickers. Like, you saw how shiny they were. You want that. I know you want that. So yeah, go buy it. Go love it. Go listen to it on repeat. That's probably what I'm gonna do right now, actually. If I had to pick favorites from this album, it would definitely be Watch What Happens Next, Dream Boy, High Definition, and War Crimes. War Crimes is everything that I could possibly want in a water park song, honestly. Like, it has everything in it. So yeah, thank you for watching my reaction to Fandom by Water Parks. Again, go pick it up. Go get it. Support the boys. They're good. They're very good. <laughs> 
that's all I have for you today. Stay dreamy, you little fandoms. Bye-bye. I literally put the booklet away and I'm going to need it. I don't know why I did that. I looked at the camera and it said 420 and that made me laugh. I hope they're not talking about themselves because dang it, they're not easy to hate. Maybe Austin is, I don't know. He, I feel like he tries to make himself easy to hate, honestly. Whatever, here's number four, easy to hate. I love him, he's so strange.